Nothing screams Christmas more than a oven-roasted holiday ham. Except that's not what we're making. Don't get me wrong, being the holiday fan ass I am, I love stuffing huge pieces of pork in my face. Unfortunately, thanks to an uninvited guest from Wuhan, half my family won't be able to attend this year's Christmas party. So that's why I came up with this. A holiday pork tenderloin. You can get the taste of Christmas without spending money on a giant piece of pork. So, although, you have a giant ham. No, 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 no. Stick to the topic. First things first, preheat the oven to 450 degrees. Now obviously you're going to need a pork tenderloin and that's what I got here. But uh, let's not get to slicing and dicing just yet. But the first thing we got to do is get rid of this. Silver skin. It's tough, chewy, and edible sinuin. And just like the family member who's constantly bringing up politics, this will ruin your Christmas dinner party. Thankfully you can get rid of both with one tool. A knife. So just make a shallow incision into the silver skin, poke out the other side, make a little wiggle room for your finger, angle your knife upward and just start cutting away. You know, on me here might as well just trim off any excess meat. Alright, toss this away. Alright, since this is going to be stuffed, let's cut it open. Just make one long shallow incision across lengthwise like this. Make sure it's as deep as you can get it without cutting through to the other side. Now let's season both sides with some salt. Next, grab some fresh pineapple and, and put it inside our incision. Trust me, you really want people's days to be merry and bright? Go the extra mile, cut up a nice fresh pineapple, and use it. Besides, if you use canned pineapples, they're going to come out mushy and overcooked. So, please use fresh pineapple. Roll this back up. Let's set it aside for now. Now, since the last tenderloin stuffing video, I found a much better way to wrap our tenderloin in bacon. And here's how it goes. Take our bacon strips and lay them out on a flat surface like this. And make sure you line them up next to each other like this. Man, the bacon got screwed me over. All these slices of bacon are super narrow. And if you see any, and if you see any holes or patches, just um, patch them up with another line of bacon. Place our tenderloin seam side down on one end, and with the aid of a spatula. Roll it over. And just uh, use any leftover strips to um, cover up any gaps you might have gotten. Then transfer everything to a cooling line baking sheet covered with aluminum foil. Now, before we put the tenderloin in the oven, we gotta make a glaze for it. Because without it, it'll taste so bland and boring that your dinner guest's eyes will... glaze... over. Ha ha, I can say lame punts because YouTube got rid of the dislike button. Na 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 na. Anyway, enough gloating, let's get to the glaze. In a bowl, add one cup of brown sugar. Or a cup-ish, you don't need to be exact with the measurements. Then let's add half a cup of brown mustard. A pinch of cayenne pepper. 
a little splash of brandy. And add one third cup of root beer. On uh, my recommendation, use root beer that's been made with real cane sugar. Because last time I checked, artificial sweeteners don't caramelize well. Mix it together. Uh, uh, this needs, the glaze needs to be a bit thicker. Just gonna add some more brown sugar. All right, our glaze is at the correct consistency. Our next step, bring out your inner Bob Ross and paint our entire loaf. Oh, don't throw this away. This is just the first coat of glaze. Our tenderloin in the middle of our 450 degree oven. Cook it for 10 minutes. All right, after 10 minutes, let's apply another layer of our glaze. Put this back in the oven. Cook it for another 10 minutes. All right, after 10 minutes, let's give it one final coating of our glaze. And cook it for a final 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, transfer the tenderloin to a wooden cutting board and let it cool. All right, once it cools down, cut it up. Uh, let me get a, a uh, slice with pineapple in it. And voila. Oh, d despite what I said earlier, there are no guests coming. I'm going to have this whole thing to myself. <laughs> No, 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 don't cry. Do your sign off, then cry. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok and support me on Patreon. Why did I bring up Wuhan earlier? Simple, the government that covered it up and helped it spread still hasn't been held accountable.